Today we will discuss how technology can be used to support Universal Design for Learning, UDL, and Differentiated Instruction. Let's start this discussion with a little background on Universal Design for Learning. Universal Design for Learning was defined by the Higher Education Opportunity Act of 2008. Universal Design for Learning focuses on the following items. A. How information is presented. B. Offering students the opportunity to respond or demonstrate knowledge and skills. C. It also places a special importance on engaging students. UDL also benefits students in the following ways. A. It reduces barriers in instruction. B. It provides appropriate accommodations, supports, and challenges. C. It maintains high achievement expectations for all students, including students with disabilities and students who are a limited English proficient. Let's delve a bit deeper by examining the three principles of UDL, which are as follows. Representation, action and expression, and engagement. The first principle is multiple means of representation. Students with disabilities need information presented in a way that bypasses their disability. This involves presenting information in a variety of ways to facilitate learning for diverse learners. Technology provides many opportunities to meet this objective. This includes the use of e-text, video clips and PowerPoint presentations, images downloaded from the internet, and interactive whiteboards such as a Mimeo or the traditional smartboard. Mimeos are very similar to smartboards and cost a third of what a smartboard costs. Mimeo Studio software includes all the tools you would find on a smartboard. You can also use Mimeo Studio software without a Mimeo classroom device to prepare presentations and manipulate previously created content. Mimeo Studio Notebook provides a multi-page workspace for creating lessons and presentations. Using the Mimeo Studio Notebook is very similar to using other word processing or presentation software applications. Mimeo Studio Notebook provides multiple authoring and editing tools for creating almost any type of content. You can use Notebook with Mimeo Studio tools to create a variety of objects, including text boxes, freehand writing and drawing, lines, arrows, and many basic shapes. Images can be imported into a notebook, both as objects and as background images. Smartboards offer similar features, which feature more responsive touch and technology. For more information, visit www.mimeo.com. Smartboards are equipped with its own suite of software known as the Smart Notebook. The Smart Notebook allows teachers to create high-impact lessons and includes the following features. Smart Response VE. The Smart Response VE seamlessly transitions between lesson delivery and assessment. Students can respond to planned and spontaneous questions and quizzes from any internet-enabled device anywhere. Smart Notebook Math Powered by GeoGebra. This software tool provides more than 55,000 math content objects and interactive activities for geometry, algebra, calculus, as well as statistics, and supports both the Mac and the PC. Ink Editing 
You can enhance your instruction with automatic handwriting recognition and conversion combined with intuitive text editing capabilities. You can edit, move, delete, modify, or insert text objects without reaching for a keyboard. Smart Notebook 3D Tools Provide the use of 3D objects right in your Smart Notebook lesson. Smart Notebook Connect helps you find and explore new content, resources, and professional development within the Smart Notebook. Smart Blocks provide a fun and innovative way to explore math concepts. Students can write numbers and drop them into the equation block where the answer is automatically formulated. It can also be tailored for simple addition and subtraction as well as basic algebra. The Smart Notebook for iPad app creates multimedia files, complete assessments on the fly with the Smart Response VE, allows students to share work with one other instantly, and imports files from Dropbox, Google Drive, iTunes, or the Smart Exchange. The Smart Notebook Recorder records and replays lesson activities without leaving a Smart Notebook. So let's move on to the second principle of UDL, multiple means of action and expression. This provides alternatives to writing for students to demonstrate learning. The alternatives include a word processing program with word prediction, text-to-speech, as well as word bars or word banks. It also involves graphic organizing programs such as Kidspiration or Inspiration, which can be found at www.inspiration.com. The third UDL principle is multiple means of engagement. This provides many opportunities to motivate students to learn and explore. Some students learn with text-to-speech audio files, while other students learn with interactive whiteboards, Web 2.0 tools, or web quests. With this in mind, accessibility to the web is extremely important. Web pages must be accessible in various formats. This includes for students with visual impairments or blindness, and this can be accomplished by including written descriptions of images and or transcripts for videos, using screen reader or magnification programs for text-based information, and including closed captioning for students who are deaf or hard of hearing. To this end, <clears throat> the World Wide Web Consortia has established guidelines in order to make the web accessible to all people. The guidelines include assisting web developers with creating accessible web pages. This has important implications for providing access to all students so that they can review information on school websites from homeworks and grades, homeschool communication, emergency notifications, and other pertinent items. In an effort to understand UDL, we must understand it is not just about adhering to the three principles of UDL. It is understanding that technology enhances all students' learning, meaning that UDL's principle multiple means of representation not only benefits students with disabilities, it can also be used by all learners. For example, closed captioning not only benefits the deaf, it is also a benefit for individuals who may be multitasking and wish to follow a television program without sound. With access to a range of solutions, fewer special modifications will be necessary. For example, the iPad addresses many sensory and auditory needs of students with disabilities. At the same time, it benefits general education students as well. Well, that wraps up today's module. Before we go, let's take a quick 
look at a few resources for further learning. UDL Resources UDL Resources can be found at udlcenter.org, which includes an overview as well as lesson resources. Assistive Wear Head Design This can be found at assistivewear.com forward slash head dash design. This state-of-the-art hardware allows users with a spinal cord injury to use their computer through alternative methods. The Assistive Wear website shares many innovations, including specialized solutions for individuals with cerebral palsy, one thumb, and other challenges. Web 2.0 tools can be further explored at Google.com. Google.com includes a suite of software applications, including Google Drive, Google Docs, Blogger, Google Maps, and various applications. These Google Apps are designed for all kinds of users and allows the user to accomplish tasks through various methods.